Hi, I'm Carmen Shammas. Today I'm going to talk about Sunday the 10th of November. The moon is in uh, Aries for a second consecutive day and actually it should be a good day if you're Aries, if you're Leo, if you're Sagittarius. How is it going to be this Sunday for all signs? Let's start with Aries. Aries, it's a very favorable day to make a move to decide on something and maybe you may, you may hear some good news or maybe you will hear some decisive uh, news. Um, you may get that email, you may uh, um, uh, get to decide or where to go, where to plan to travel, take a trip, or maybe it's something important related to your work or even your um, uh, personal life. So everybody actually can be lucky today, especially those born between the 10th and the 19th of April. Taurus, on the other hand, it can be a very slow, disappointing day. It can be a bit frustrating. It can be a, a bit, um, um, maybe not up to the standard. And you should not actually venture on such a day. Otherwise, you may feel a little bit let down and um, uh, you may even lose uh, something like your best chance like you may even uh, ruin a situation if you want to push it to the maximum to the extreme excuse me so um, uh, Taurus you have to be careful today and I think astrologically this is one of the worst days in the month of November especially uh, especially if you were born on the 24th 25th of April Let's move on to Gemini. It's uh, a nice um, day. It's a nice sociable day. You interact uh, with others, with whatever's going around, uh, with optimism. So try not to hide, try to be active, try to be uh, in, the, um, in the situation. Uh, don't move away. Uh, it's nice to reach out to others. You may even wish to ask for help or you may even wish to ask for some uh, advice. It's a very nice day to lobby around or just chill and enjoy your Sunday. Everybody can be lucky, especially those born on the 16th, 17th, 18th of June. Let's move on to cancer. Cancer, it's... Uh, it's an important day um, something important may happen you may find yourself under the spotlight uh, you may get an answer you may also need to prepare yourself to give a presentation or help out or just be present you know um, so it's an important day especially if you have work today if at home just chilling around you should expect uh, something may or someone may need your help could be family, could be parents, something like that. Or maybe they'll call you from the office. Everybody can be lucky, especially those born on the 9th, 10th of, Jan of July. Leo, it's a beautiful day. It's a sunny, beautiful uh, Sunday for you. Everything seems positive, attractive and happy. So today, uh, Leo, most probably you will attract some good business. You'll attract some good news and you will have nice um uh, uh, conditions around you so everything around you seems to be perfect uh, you can do anything you want you are very lucky especially if you were born in July or if you were born between the 17th and the 19th of August let's move on to Virgo Virgo it's um, it's a long day, but it's a nice day it's rewarding because it gives you the chance to um, compromise and it gives you the chance to make up for mistakes for lost time to uh, make ends meet so i think you really need to keep an open mind and reach out to others you can actually uh, you actually possess a great deal of flexibility the luckiest are those born on the 27th 28th of august 8th 9th 14th 15th of september let's move on to libra libra you may feel provoked, you may feel challenged, you may feel as if you are under the spotlights and everybody's looking at the mistakes, your mistakes, um, or even your weak points. In all cases, try not to fall in this trap, in the trap of reacting. Uh, you have to tone down your, your voice or the way you talk just to uh, prevent yourself from reacting a little bit too strongly 
uh, in all cases you have a lot of energy today just be careful how you handle it especially especially if you were born on the 17th 18th of october avoid getting into problems and drive carefully let's move on to scorpio scorpio it's um, it's a busy sunday long busy sunday you have so many things to do or maybe you have one single thing that keeps you busy all day long maybe you need to wake up earlier or maybe you need to have a, a, a short nap and then you continue working you really need to work a little bit later so it's a long day you may feel a little bit exhausted uh, physically and even mentally but in all cases it can be rewarding on one condition if you finish whatever you're doing today try not to postpone till tomorrow important or complicated things because they can get complicated tomorrow you can be lucky if you were born on the 9th 10th of november let's move on to uh, Sagittarius Sagittarius it's a nice romantic day it's a nice day that cools down your um, your your stress if you are stressed if you're not stressed out it's a fine day you will enjoy it from early morning till last hours of the of the day uh, you can be very expressive you can be very um, humanitarian uh, humane you can be uh, actually um, enthusiastic about everything and that's why you can be the one who moves uh, events and things like that in all cases it's a beautiful sunny day for for sagittarians and you really need this uh, great time um, uh, you can be very lucky under the influence of this star venus if you were born on the first and second of december and you can be extremely lucky if you were born between the 16th and the 18th of december because of the influence of planet jupiter Let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, you may um, drown yourself in self-pity or you may feel yourself a little bit tired or maybe exhausted because of some family issues, personal issues. You just want to sit on your own. You just want to enjoy your day. But mind you, you may be... Um, uh, you may need to uh, answer a call, answer the door, or you may have to look out for... Uh, look or take care of something during the day. So um, take that into account. Um, you can still enjoy a beautiful Sunday, especially if you were born on the 26th, 27th of December. Let's move on to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, I think you have um, a fast beat day. Uh, you are very convincing. Your ideas are quite uh, powerful. Uh, you are smart. Um, it doesn't matter which age, what age you are, how old you are. So it's a beautiful day. Great for action. Great for writing. Great for speeches. Great for uh, being there. So you have a great personality today, today and you can really be very impressive. The luckiest are those born on the 13th, 14th of, uh, of February. Um, now we move on to Pisces. Pisces, uh, I love this day. Uh, today, Pisces, uh, you seem um, shiny, you seem um, with a nice smile. Uh, there should be uh, self-confidence today and it reflects in your the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you express yourself. You just have, you need to um, avoid over, uh, ex over spending just because you're too optimistic. In all cases, you can do whatever you want. It's a beautiful day. You may even win something. The luckiest, everybody's lucky, especially those born between the 7th and the 8th of March. I wish you all a beautiful Sunday. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.